up, everybody? Well, yesterday you saw my video posted on basically the bow, like me shooting it, and I didn't really hit the target. I think I missed. I don't really care. Holy crap. Yeah, you see my cat under there? A squirrel just fell out of the tree, and he's trying to eat him, I guess. There's like no squirrels left in these trees anymore because he ate them all. But anyways, I shot the bow yesterday, and it shoots great. It's really good. You can't really see it right now because of the lighting. I'm sitting in the chair. I don't feel like getting up right now. But anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that the, the limbs, what you're basically looking at right now, are the limbs, and... Those are the only new part of this bow. The actual handle my Uncle John made for me about three years ago. And I kept it. I just wanted some new limbs for it. And, um, but yeah, it took him about four weeks to make. He's got a full-time job. And, um, they work really good, actually. And, um, but, yeah. Anyways, yeah, it took him about four weeks to make it, and it started out as, you know, just six straight pieces of, like, wood and your laminates and whatnot. And, um, all the, um, all the materials he orders is from beingonprojects.com, and they carry, like, high-quality stuff that, actually, their material is kind of expensive, but, you know, when it comes to making something like this, that's what you want, something expensive, it's something good. You don't want to buy nothing cheap. And this will last you like a lifetime. And anyways, my uncle, the reason he's so good at doing this, he's he's a really patient person. And, um, yeah, he's, he's just real patient. And he can do all this. He's a carpenter. And he's really skilled with doing everything. And anyways, what I was talking about in the description in my last video was these the extended tips right here most bows they don't have they don't go too far like after the string is at the top there's like maybe like an inch maybe not even that sometimes and it's just rounded off but me and my cousin came up with the idea of getting you know extended tips it gives it more of a curved look and actually I like it really good and um I'll be posting some videos I mean not videos but pictures at the beginning of this video just kind of showing you everything like the production of the bow like the progression I guess and um just showing you how everything basically came but yeah the string is actually three years old I need to order me another one because he made it at the time he did of the handle but um yeah I was just gonna tell you like your options for like customizing everything you can get basically any color of wood that you want. I mean, you have to go to Bingham Projects because that's where he orders his stuff from. You go there, research what you want. I think you can get um, any color of laminates you want. This one's obviously got clear laminates because you can see the wood grain. <clears throat> and um, the handle, I believe, on mine is uh, is diamond wood, charcoal, I think. And, um, it's real good. It's a heavier wood. I like that, though. Most of the other woods, like, um, you know, like, what does my cousin have on his? I'm not sure, but he's got, like, a lighter, a lighter stain or, like, a lighter color of wood. But, um, but, yeah, this bow shoots amazing. And you can get one of those for free, I think. It levels your arrow out. That's really helpful. But you can see my bow like right here especially you see how the wood colors from the hand differs from the handle it's the same wood it's just you know no two pieces of wood are the same and they all come out different it's just different colors but um you can get just about any kind of poundage you want usually his the bows he makes are about 50 pounds to 60 you can get 65, and the length for these are 62 inches, these bows. And he doesn't just make recurves, though. He makes long bows, hybrids, anything. Recurves do take the longest time to make because of everything you have to do. But, yeah, inbox me if you would, you know, want one of your own. 
and the prices vary on each one depending on your materials because the labor it takes you have to pay for that as well just like everybody me and everybody else does but uh yeah labor usually is gonna stay the same because it takes them about the same time to make everything you know but uh materials is where your biggest the biggest part of your money is probably gonna come from but um i think my limbs are coca bola with uh clear laminates and diamond wood all the way through and the tips are also diamond wood tips and these bows shoot just about as good as any bow you can get as a recurve in my opinion because i've shot bows from like i've ordered from cabela's that cost you know up to six seven hundred dollars and actually i like his bows better than theirs theirs and plus to me like it means more anyways you know you get to customize it and make it just however you want and i don't know it just makes it more fun to shoot especially if you can see how the stages of it that's what makes it important you know or whatever i guess i don't know yeah my cat is sitting under that chair waiting for the squirrel to drop out of the tree again i guess and um yeah that's how straight the bow is and that's that's very very straight and that's all of this is handmade but, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll be posting some more videos, I'm sure, of just, like, shooting it and everything. I just wanted to give you guys the details of it and tell you what you can do to... And if you would like to order one, uh, first off, you need to go to bingonprojects.com. I'll give a link in the description, I guess, so you can go to it and just see what you can have available. And inbox me and tell me what you want, and... I can get everything set up for you because he loves doing this, making bows, and he would definitely make you one. And I'll get all the details and everything worked out for you. And you've pretty much got yourself a bow. The production time, I guess, is going to vary. It depends on his workload. But... I'll be keeping you updated if you did want to order one I will definitely keep you updated just about every day on the the status of your order so anyways hope you like it I love these bows they're amazing and they're gonna last you forever and I recommend well I guess if you're like me just get the extended tips because I don't know they look cooler to me for some reason they give the bow more quality characteristics but uh you can get anything you want basically just let me know if you know anything about bows then you know you know what you can pick from so but yeah just inbox me for details and that's it all right thanks guys